that I thought was very interesting was Hulk's brain. Can you explain a little bit? Because I love how it shrinks his frontal lobe. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that a little bit sure. for our audience? Sure. Really what we're cool. actually doing is basically picking up from what we know from Hulk as a character, behavioral, what he does, what he like does for. So things like you know being very emotional, and, you know, not you know not really speaking correctly, reacting emotionally to things. We used all of that, you know, to basically decide how his brain should be changing. So we started from normal human's brain and then reduced the frontal lobe, increased the amygdala and other areas related to emotional processing, the emotional guy, increase the cerebellum, for instance, for the long jumps that he does, and visual cortex, so he can figure out what is in space and where to land. So it's really building from Stanley's character and what he does, and then how would the brain do that, and then map that on and make the transformations from that to So everything is very scientifically based. I love that. There's a, there's a question from Jane says, is it scientifically possible for someone to have the perfect accuracy of Hawkeye? Well, it depends on what you're going to mean by perfect accuracy. But, you know, if you look, for instance, at baseball players, right? They have this almost perfect high-end coordination. They can, and there's a lot to it. It's more than just knowing what things are. It's figuring out where they're going to be, right? When you start the motor movement and you have an ongoing traffic, you really want to know where this thing is going to be at what point in time. So, it depends on how you define perfect accuracy, but there are people who are pretty freaking amazing on it. It's awesome. Uh, and the Asgardian Angel is our last question. Wants to know how the Bifrost works. Can you please? Uh, it's all on you. It's a good question. We don't know how the Bifrost <laughs> works. However, we know it's going to require a lot of energy, and there are certain ways that you can do that. You know, tapping black holes, accretion disks, all that kind of stuff. Maybe it's just simple conversion of matter into pure energy. But the bottom line is we don't know how it works. Pretty awesome. Uh,